Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, I'm often asked for tips on how to learn medical terminology. All these terms, all these word parts. Coach, what is the best way to learn medical terminology? Well, let me share five with you. Number one is knowing your word parts. Take a day and just spend time learning all of your main terms for that week. Okay? Then start learning some suffixes. And then spend some time on prefixes and then combining vowels. So as you're learning your word parts, you've got them, you've memorized them, so now you can start putting them together. So that's number two. Once you know your word parts, learn how these word parts fit together. If the main term starts with a vowel, it doesn't need a prefix. Think about the rules to medical terminology. Once you know your word parts, learn how these word parts fit together. Same thing with the suffix. If your main term ends in a vowel, does it necessarily need a suffix? Are combining vowels always needed between two word roots? Three, write, write, and write the term over and over and over. There's something about when I test because I've written whether it's a page of the same word part, whether it's a main term or whatever, I write that word over and over and over and over. Repetition tends to stay with me. Even if I don't it doesn't sink in to me what that word part means just from the repetition of hearing it over and over. I always use the term osteo. Osteo means bone. Osteo means bone. Osteo means bone. I've done it so long that now it's sinking in that osteo means bone, but just hearing osteo means bone, I know osteo means bone because I've heard it so many times. What about color coding your flashcards? based on the word part. One of my students did that. Of course, pretend this was an index card. She'd write all of her main terms on, I guess it's a salmon colored card. Suffixes on the pink one. Prefixes on a yellow. Combining vowel on a blue. And so with all of these colors, they tend to stand out, but she could remember them based on the color of the index card. And I thought that was a good idea. Which leads me right into number five, which is create a game with all of your colors. Mix and match them and create medical terms. Okay? But you always have to have a main term. You start with your main term and either put a prefix or a suffix with it or take the prefix off and just have the suffix. Make a game out of your colored cards. Okay, guys? These are just five, term, five ideas that came to mind as far as tips for learning medical terminology. If you've got some ideas, put them down below in the comments. Share them with your fellow peers so that they could use those ideas as well. All right, All right guys, thanks. I'll see you in the next one. If you haven't yet subscribed, Make sure you subscribe to my channel so we can keep this discussion going. I'll see you in the next one.